Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today is going to be my March TBR. I've got a couple of readathons going on in the month of March. I've got some carryover from February because who would I be if I didn't have carryover? I've got some TBR box picks. It's going to be a fun time. I'm going to try not to overwhelm myself, but you and I both know that I'm going to. First, let's talk about the Buzzwordathon. This readathon is being hosted by Lala at Books and Lala and Chelsea at Chelsea Dolly Reads and it runs from March 18th through March 24th. There is a group book. I don't remember what it's called. I'm not planning to read it. I will link at least one of their announcement videos in the description box below so that you can check that out if you're interested in looking further into that. This round of the Buzzwordathon actually has six words. Who, what, where, when, why, and how. So you can read as many books or as few books as you want and they basically just have to have that one of those words in the title. I went through all of my shelves. I have three books that have one of those six words in the title so I just went ahead and put all three of them on my TBR because why not. The first book that I have is What the Dead Want by Nora Olson. I honestly have no idea what this book is about. It was a cover buy and a title buy that I picked up at Barnes & Noble a few years ago. It's been a minute. Can't tell you about it because I don't know anything. Next is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. I've talked about this book before on the channel. It's been on my TBRs before. Basically it's about this witch who takes children and feeds them light from the sun and this one little girl accidentally gets light from the moon instead and I believe it gives her powers and this book is about her and about the witch and how people don't necessarily perceive her to her truest self. And next is What If It's Us by Becky Albers Halley and Adam Silvera. Again, I I've had this on a readathon list before as well that never got read. This book is about two boys who have continuous meet cutes and they just kind of keep falling apart and though they like each other they're starting to wonder if maybe it's just not supposed to work between the two of them. So those were my three books for the Buzzwordathon. Now let's get into Author Tube Appreciation Month. Not necessarily a readathon but kind of a readathon. So I'm hosting the AuthorTube Appreciation Month. I'll link the video in the description box below as well as in the cards. It is a readathon where if you know a published author tuber and you want to support them, you read their book, you do a review, there are chances to win prizes and just to make your author tubers happy because you're helping them out by reading their books. To be quite honest, I don't know what most of these are about. Like I did at the time, but it's been a minute and so I've kind of forgotten but I will link to the Goodreads description for all five of these because I honestly can't remember what they're all about because I'm a horrible person and I'm not doing my job. First is I Am Mercy by Mandy Lynn. I vaguely remember that this one has something to do with a girl in history where her family believes she's cursed and she's kind of an outcast and they're, I believe it's during the actual Black Plague. Like she can save them from the plague, but it'll make them all not love her. If you're wrong about that, don't quote me on it, but I, I vaguely remember that. Next is Eveline's Number by Bethany Atazada. This one I do know a little more about. This one is about a girl who lives in a world where I think it's your 16th birthday, you're given a number and that is what places you in society. Eveline thinks she's going to get a higher ranking number and she ends up with a lower ranking number and she kind of has to figure out how she wants to live her life and she also thinks that the ranking system may be corrupt and so she wants to investigate that. Next is Song of the Dryad by Natalia Lee. I literally don't know what this one is about other than a dryad. That's all I got. In the same vein, when I first started booktube and listening to authortube videos, I bought Robert Michael's The Demon in the Trees by Ben Sanders and I've never read it, so now's the time. And I do not have a physical copy of it, but I do plan to read Riser, the first book in the Riser Saga by Becca C. Smith. Again, I don't really know what that one's about either, but I'll link descriptions down below. Let's get to the box, shall we? Like, I'm already at seven books and I've got carryover and now I'm gonna pull some books out of the box. Let's do post 2018 first. Just one please. I am Mercy. Am I allowed to give that to myself? Like I'm already reading it. It's already on the TBR. I think I want to give it to myself. I think I am. Got a lot of books to read this month. I'm giving it to myself. Now for pre-2018. And that one is Avalon High. Not even kidding, like I started this audiobook today. I DNF'd the audiobook that I was listening to and I was looking for something that was available and I picked Avalon High and I have no idea how I pulled this. Like that, the, the stars have aligned. I have no idea how this happened. Like 
Okay, anyway, that gives us Avalon High by Meg Cabot. I know a lot of people that have said like this was one of their favorite Meg Cabot books. I have only read one Meg Cabot book. Basically, I liked the movie and I know that the movie and the book are different, but I'm okay with that. Pretty excited to read it. I'm currently on page 46 already. Like I just pulled it out of the, I don't know. This is a weird day, guys. Well, thank you TBR Box for saving my life this month. And mainly that's because I have five carryover books. You already know these two are coming. Lord of Shadows, Queen of Air and Darkness. I've started Lord of Shadows, so that's a start. I've started it. I'm working on it. It's really, it's a really big book. And I have so many other books that I want to read that I like, I feel bad sitting down and reading 700 pages of this book, which doesn't make any sense because I read nine books last month. I could have easily have read this and like six other books and been the same amount of pages. But I just, I can't convince my brain of that. So as soon as I can get my brain thinking properly, I'll get into these. Uh, next is Breaking a Zelda by Tabitha Shipley. Talked about it a million times, not going to talk about it again. I will link in the description box below my TBR video for January because that was where I first talked about all of these. The Lies We Told, Becca Milloway. Again, TBR video for January. And And I Darken by Kirsten White. This was actually one of my TBR box picks for last month that I didn't get to. So I want to get to it this month. Yes. So here's my TBR for March because... January and February weren't bad enough. I thought I'd just keep going with it because why not? Guys, this is crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna put this down and then talk some more. Okay. I have decided that with the exception of Queen of Air and Darkness, anything that carries over, any of the carryover from February into March, anything that doesn't get read, I'm just going to unhaul because I feel like I've had three months to read everything and if I haven't read it yet, I'm probably not going to. Queen of Air and Darkness is the exception because I have to finish Lord of Shadows before I can start Queen of Air and Darkness. So I'm hoping to have at least started by Queen of Air and Darkness by the end of this month, but if I at least finish Lord of Shadows, I'll feel okay about that. But the other three books that carried over, if I don't start them, they're getting unhauled and I feel like that's fair. So that was my ridiculous TBR for the month of March. Let me know in the comments below what you're planning to read if you've read any of these books and how you felt about them. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos twice a week. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!